people like kill this verse, right? Ephesians 5, verse 22, it says, wives, wives submit to yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. And then for the husband, for the husband is the head of the, of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior, right? So essentially it's focusing on women just submitting themselves to, to the wife, right? There's a verse literally right before that, right? So that's that, that was, they conveniently leave out. Yeah, that's so that was Ephesians 5, 22, right? But verse 21 says, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. So the first statement that was made was both the husband and the wife submit to each other in reverence for the foundation or which should be the foundation of the relationship, right? Which is Agreed. which is Christ. And uh, a lot of people don't pay attention to that, right? And I understand that, yes, wives are, are should submit themselves to their husbands, but that doesn't mean to be a slave to your husbands, right? It just means to submit to uh, their leadership, their mm -hmm. vision, uh, their purpose for the family, right? And that comes, like I say, with a, with a focused, with, with a man that's focused, with a man that's purpose-driven, with a man that's that has a vision for the wife and his family and what he's trying to build with her, right?